Guys, welcome back to a brand new Disney Heroes Battle Mode video. I'm finally getting my computer looked at this afternoon, and then I can find out what's wrong with it and how I can fix it. So hopefully we'll be back to normal soon. But I've, I've been enjoying doing my videos here on my laptop, to be honest with you. But anyway, I wanted to take a look today at doing a little bit of the story mode, because I haven't done the story mode in a while. I'm planning on doing some City Watch over the weekend with Ethan. Um, because you all like it when we rage on that. So I'm saving up a load of tokens and resets and bits and pieces for that. And what we are going to do when we get there is basically I want to see how many um, Claw Houser shards we can obtain. So let's leave it on there. And that will give me three resets ready. Which is good. So the most important thing, because obviously the update dropped yesterday guys. I covered the update. There wasn't a huge amount I needed. <clears throat> there wasn't a huge amount I needed to get into, so you know it wasn't really a huge sort of cover on that update. But the main thing to take to take home, guys, is that the um, level was increased by another five, and you can get up to red yellow. For those who didn't watch yesterday's video, that's it. You're not missing out on anything else. There, this is just a small drop, I reckon, ready for their third year anniversary, which I believe is coming soon. So we've got quite good stuff to talk about. So I I wanted to discuss mods now, guys. Now, when it comes to mods, there's it's not overly complicated at all. It looks very, very scary, but I'm going to tell you why you should use certain mods and... I'm not going to go through every single character individually. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a rundown on why you should be using them for basically class types. And please do comment down below if you agree or you have different things that you'd like to do with mods or you just flat out disagree with me, guys. You know, I want to know your opinions on everything. So I always like to use Clawhauser as an example. As you guys know, I've done that quite a lot. And this is, to be fair, this is because Jai gave me that fantastic technique with mods. So... If we look at Clawhouse's mods here, you can see that I've obviously equipped three health HP mods. And that's because Clawhouse is a tank. And he has... So, let's start from basically ground one here. What type is the character you want to equip mods onto? Now, mods are very expensive to level up. They use a lot of supplies. So, you're only really going to be able to maybe get two or three characters really leveled up. So really do focus on those characters which you know are meta in the game and or you just like, you know, at the end of the day, who cares if a character's good if you actually like using them. So you can see here with Clawhauser, the best kind of approach is to make sure he has HP mods. Because like I said, obviously, if, if you don't know what role a character is, guys, you can see that in the detailed stats. So he's a tank, so the best thing to do is increase his HP. And you can see here that the purple upgrades, guys, are where the mods are kicking in. And then, so that is very, very important. And you can see he's nearly got 2 million HP. Now, the reason I've buffed reality on Clawhauser, so you need to take this advice and push it across every single character. So the best thing to do is look at their skills and understand why you would need to upgrade them. So, for example... I looked through Clawhouse's skills, and there's a couple of instances. So you can see Hot Dancer here, Reality. So um, the amount healed is equal to 25% of Clawhouse's armor, which is okay. So if you were to increase armor, that would increase the amount healed, because it would be 25% of that mod increase that you've applied to armor. Now, I haven't gone down that route, because personally, his special is good enough without needing enhancement. And then we've got basic damage increase is equal to 120% of reality. So now what's brilliant is that um, I've upgraded reality so much that every single person's attack is going to fly up when he uses his special. And then I can use someone like Kermit to do... I mean, it goes on to everyone anyway, but then you can dupe it and make it last longer. So that is why, logically, with... Clawhauser, I would choose to upgrade reality. So basically, guys, you know, I don't want to make this too com complex and in detail. My real bit of advice for you is to just analyze the character you're upgrading. There's no like mass 
guide I can give you or mass advo- or mass tips for every character I can give you. It's just look at the character's skill set. Why are you using them on your team? So, for example, again, I use Clawhauser as a tank to take all the damage. So, we have, as you can see, one, two, three, and I will put a fourth one there. I just haven't done it yet. And then I'll have four HP mods, which are really going to bring up his HP. So, what I could do here is put an armor mod on here, which would increase the overall healing which would be fantastic, but I'm half tempted to just go for four realities and really bring up his damage buff because I've not had any issue at the moment with health. So what the, okay, so I, I've analyzed my character, right? So let's do this as an, if I was a noob, I've analyzed my character. I've understood that his, um, why is my, why is my alarm going off? I've understood <laughs> I've understood that this character needs reality to be increased from his main special. So now if we flick through the specials here, right, like this, normal damage here. So Kwasa pulls a donut throwing star dealing damage to two closest enemies and then eats. And then he also eats a donut, increasing HP, and he gets an armor buff. So there's nothing about reality in there for now. So that's fine. Let's move on. Kwasa slurps down soda, increasing his attack speed. And increasing his reality so that further increases his reality and then he gains armor equal to so this is basically one of the um main kind of stages that i recommend people use clawhauser because what happens so yeah so the best move on here is the oh my goodness clawhauser gains armor equal to 100 percent of his reality and gains reality equal to 100 percent of his armor so basically um the more reality you have the more armor he'll get making him indestructible nearly indestructible guys so that is a very important thing to take note of so this isn't a breakdown of Clawhauser's skills what i'm trying to explain to you guys is that it's very important to make sure you upgrade mods which are useful for their skills and what mod can increase more skills than one because if i was to go on to here right and just go into the mods of Clawhauser and just stick on a basic damage one that wouldn't be useful and then none of these would actually assist Clawhauser at all really where the reality, reality ones do so that's basically what I so i'll show you for one more example guys so also if i go on to ian i've applied the same logic right okay i'm nowhere near having his skills on the same level because this is before i got told the secret technique which i'll let you know shortly so if i click ian's mods right i've done this and i've done his skill power because ian is a skill power demon and then I've done his green skill. So I know for a fact the best thing about Ian is his green skill. And I've already put two mods on that. So I've got this plus 20 levels. And I'm about to get this up to 2, 4, 5 down the line. And what that does is basically allow his firework to wipe the whole team no matter what. So what I want to do is get two more mods on. And then further increase the skill damage, which this is doing. And then increase the levels of this move as well which is going to further increase the damage so logically with ian guys it makes sense to increase his skill damage with the mods because that's the biggest push so my my only advice to you and i hope you take away from this is just analyze the characters before you put the corresponding mods on because putting a hp mod on ian would be a waste because he's not a tank yes you could argue well it would keep him alive longer but that's not what you use ian four you'd have someone on who could support him like kermit who can keep him invincible and then you want to just spam his skills out that is a very very important element having his skills just push so basically guys the secret technique here and um so you find out what color the character is right so you go to team team knocks down colors so i so i know so let's do ian right i know ian's red and i know that there's no other red character here who I particularly care about. So what I would do here is start to break some mods. So um, not break, upgrade. So I know Quora, right? I think with Quora, I have like, I have 300 spare shards. So find a character you have loads of spare shards for, right? Mr. Incredible, ridiculous amount of shards. So you're gonna go into his badges and you're gonna equip one. So let's just steal, um, let's just take a, skill one here i don't actually have any spare so take a skill one equip it onto mr incredible right 
Now you can use all of Mr. Incredible's shards here. So say that. So I want to get that to plus 10, right? That's on plus 10. Lovely. Uh, actually, let's get it to plus 10 like that. So we've got that to plus 10 now, guys, which is fantastic. And that has eaten away at a lot of Mr. Incredible shards. But I don't use Mr. Incredible, so I really don't care. And then if we continue going through, I, I notice I've got 760 for Eve. So I can do the same thing here. So I'll grab this one, equip it on like that. And then what I'll do is I'll advance this one as well. And I'll go to as far as I can like that. So that one I got to plus 10 as well. So now what you can do with this guy is unequip it. And then go over to Mr. Incredible as well. Where is he? Mr. Incredible. Unequip it. Right? Like that. And then what you can do is go over to Ian. And basically just do this. Show. You can see that's on plus 10, right? And that's a big... Okay, I know I haven't got the level upgraded much. But that's not the point at the moment. So now I can equip that. And it only still costs 25. Okay, yes, I don't have enough shards for Ian at the moment. But my point to you here is that it doesn't increase the amount of shards it takes to drop onto a good character. So I unfortunately can't obtain Ian shards yet. So this will be a little bit of a grind for me. But as I go through story mode, guys, and, you know, I, I produce this video, so I'm going to do another story mode video tomorrow on the Elite campaign this time. It's going to allow me to push very slowly with Ian. Um, and then I can unlock the missions, and I think you can get, like, six a day. So it doesn't become too difficult. But, yeah, it, it's, it's a good start, basically, guys. And that means that in the chamber now, I have two of these ridiculous mods ready to go. So what I could also do is unequip these two and drop them onto another red character to do the same process. But obviously at the moment, guys, where I am, I don't want to do that because I wouldn't want to put them back on Ian until I've got enough shards. So you can see I've got a thousand spare for Scar. So I do the same thing with Scar, which would then equal me being able to chuck them over onto Ian. So that is my advice for you guys. I'm not going to go through every single character. But I just wanted to tell you the most important thing to do is work on stuff which makes sense for that individual character. So, for example, if I go onto my power, Ducky and Bunny always sits at the top, which I know annoys a lot of people, but it brings me a lot of joy. You can see with Ducky and Bunny, right, that I did quite an, an, an arrange here. Now, back when I was a little bit more of a noob, but it works nicely because what I've increased with Ducky and Bunny is his extra fluffy, right? And I just thought I'd do this as a bit of a test, as a bit of just a randomness. So every time Ducky and Bunny do damage to an enemy, they heal. And look how much I've increased it because I've absolutely slaughtered these bottom mods here. And then I've just got an, a, a bit of a general normal crit, which isn't really useful. That's a bit of a waste. And then on here, I've just got armor increase, which is okay because it just keeps Ducky and Bunny alive a little bit. But this one here works really well because every single time Ducky and Bunny attack, they're gaining health and that's one of those important things again guys so yeah if you really want me to focus on individual characters please comment down below ones you're working on um but that's not that wasn't the aim of this video i want to do a bit of a general generalize of mods so do let me know what you think guys the next character i'm going to work on is ian so tomorrow you're going to see me smash through some elite campaign which i'm looking forward to so yeah, I'm going to get those two mods on Ian, and then I can faff around with those ones afterwards. But then I can get two mods onto him, and see how far I can upgrade them. And yeah, so that's pretty good. And then after Ian, guys, um, I, might do Mul I might do Mulan, but I, I, basically I was doing normal crits for Mulan, because she does so much critical damage. But before I knew about that technique, I've kind of got a really good amount of mods on Mulan. So she's a kind of a character I'm ignoring for now, and I'll, I'll revisit her later on. So Mulan's doing quite well, but you can always just chuck her, chuck that onto somebody else, upgrade them and bring them back, guys. So there's no harm in that at all. Um, Cheshire Cat, I haven't done any on him yet. Um, Clawhauser, I've done a, obviously I've done a pro build in Clawhauser. Maximus, just not a lot on Maximus either yet. So I, basically I'm, I'm doing Clawhauser, as you guys know. That one's on the plus 10 as well. Um, I'm going to get another HP one onto there as well. Um, so I guess I could do that just around the video up, guys, just to do one more for you. So team, um, I know I don't have many yellow um, badges left. So let's find a character who's got loads. I think Maui might have loads on him. 490. Yeah, so that's fine. So what I want to do is grab a HP mod like that, equip it on, 
and just see how much because I know this one probably yeah, won't get too far but basically what I can do now is just keep working towards slowly bringing this one up each time guys so every time yellow pops up I can just keep grinding that slowly on Maui because I basically just want to get it to plus 10 then I'll move it over to um, Clawhauser but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video guys do smash that like and subscribe button and I will see all of you beautiful people in the next one